Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co-host, Brian. It's fine, everybody. We're here to talk one of our favorite shows. This is Bachelor in Paradise. This is week three. Uh, the girls have the roses this week, Brian, uh, following the three eliminations from week two. This episode had a lot going on. This episode had a lot going on um, from some crazy medical issues to some new men entering the beach to a bachelorette coming to the beach and making her presence felt and instilling a little fear in the women that were left over, right? Yeah, that was last week. Oh, that was last week. See, hands up, guys. I watched both together. So either way, I think it informs uh, like what how this kind of the impetus of this week. So I'm going to start with this. Tanner arrives. Mm -hmm. um, good dude from the season from that season. Um, yeah, he's fine. Fine overall, I think he is a good-looking guy, and he his name has been dropped since episode one by a few of the women, uh, specifically Jess, who had said from the beginning, "My mm -hmm. main number one. If I wanted to see anybody, it would be him," and been very clear about it. Also, a little bit Cat. Now, Cat had mentioned him amongst a few people, um, but just keep that in mind that Jess and Cat are very close as we talk about this review. Um, Tanner does have a few of the quick conversations does ask Kat out on a date, which obviously, if you're Brayden, sucks. However, this is part of the game, right? And the women always, you know, and the men will go on to other dates and explore. But usually, either before or after they get ready for the date, they will pull the person aside. Kat, literally, the set, he was like, would you like to? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, he was like, the whole the whole house and no one really gives a crap what happens to other people really most of the time they're just like ugh that was kind of icky right mm -hmm. not only that she comes back doesn't talk to him before she goes on the date she's behind him and then to leave for the date she literally steps over him by. like Allen Iverson and Tyron yeah. Lou like get out of my way yeah, bro right. like yeah, I got like, a date to go to her knee like hits his shoulder and he's just he like, like literally like looks at her like you're not gonna even acknowledge that you just stepped over me like that. Now, look, if you watched Cat season, not much of a surprise there. And we're going to get to her reactions, but <laughs> just what were you thinking for Braden? Did you feel for him? Um, Maybe like 5% because yeah. he, I mean, he he's an interesting person. Like, I, I can't really take him too super seriously after what the charity happened on the charity season. The only person that really has done what you said about, like, being a little genuine about dates is Mercedes. We'll get to that, too. But I feel like everybody else, like Kylie did the exact same thing pretty much, like didn't talk until after the date. Like it's – but I mean that's the show. I don't know what – like they ask him on the date and they're like, hold on. I got to call time out and then I go talk to him real quick. Like they're obviously going to say yes. You know what I mean? Some of these people are just like so good looking and stuff too and they're used to their normal lives. I'm sure Kylie never worries about frankly like – ghosting someone or not ghosting someone i just yeah, get and the it's just, vibe it's like the show. It's also the show i don't I, know, I understand you can be upset totally get that yeah yeah but they act like they act like somebody it's died day. it's been a day what it's been a day like they've yeah, been I, I, day. I agree yeah okay it's been a day that they know these people but yeah but they they act like they're so sad and well, was that was last episode right yeah and then well, yeah, like, yeah brady even said like yeah he says it later in the episode he's like yeah i i could see myself be outside with her i'm like like you said it's been one day what are we doing here that's why these relationships never work. That's why they need to date outside of this cesspool of of um of fraternity because it doesn't work. This is how they're thinking. I agree. Um, it does end up with like you said, Tanner and Cat going out on the date. It was kind of funny. We had our first um one of our first boxes of the season. Brian, her butt was hanging out while they were making out on the beach, so they had the black box over. Yeah. There. Oh, what the, was it? The her was it her Tanner and Cat. Was it her bathing suit? Yeah, it was her bathing suit. Yeah, I think her like it was like probably just such an aggressive box. Yeah, like, like bleep something that's actually bleep like should was be her bleep. pants or pants like a like, dick hanging out of a pants. That's believable. Or, like, oh well, we've seen that before too, where they do the giant box. Yeah, the huge like, box over like a guy. Um, quick little side funny conversation with um Blake and I guess it was Blake and Jess, right? Where they talk about bird meat. Yeah, and she like completely forgot about chickens. Chickens and turkey. Ducks. I mean, people like ducks too. Yeah, yeah, she's thinking like, he's just like, oh my God, you're, I think you're eating pigeons. He's like, can he, and he was being so funny. He was like, evaluate this. Really? Yeah, no, I actually, that was like a point for Blake, even though he had so many negative in my his, book. But... His Canadian accent came out deep during that conversation too. 
which mm-hmm. I thought was very funny. Um, Tyler Norris arrives on the beach. Uh, Tyler from Wildwood, a guy in my local area. Um, man, dude got his jacket yeah, yeah. himself up since yeah, yeah, yeah. Paradise. He's big. Mm-hmm. Yeah, his arms look bigger. Yeah, good for him. Um, and everyone knows he is a nice guy, like a genuinely yeah. nice guy. So he's definitely going to have his kind of pick of the litter. It was funny. Rachel was the first person he talked to. I think she really thought she would have a shot to reconnect with him. And, hey, the season's got plenty of time to go. But I, I do like that he didn't give Rachel the shine. Like, kick rocks. You dump me on TV. I'm not. Yeah, I'm really happy that him and Avon are not giving her the time of day. Dude, really like that. Avon shouldn't. He's like, he treated no, I, yeah, no, I'm just happy. I'm just happy. He treated so many people like crap. That they were into her, frankly. So yeah, let her have Lord Farquaad. Yeah, take him. um, yeah. So, uh, picks Mercedes. Uh, I said, dude, poor Will. So this is now the third chick that Will is connected with in three days that has been taken away from him. Look, like I think he's a nice guy. I I lost a lot of my sympathy watching the second episode today, though, when he was openly weeping. And then he was yes. weeping when Mercedes was giving him attention. And I'm sorry, guys. Like everyone likes sensitivity. I guarantee she was like, "This is a little much." She wanted a rose. I'm sorry, but she wanted a rose. And like she's like, "This dude is weeping." He's like, "It's so great to be chosen." I'm like, "She didn't pick you, dude. Like uh-huh. she's just a leftover girl right now, and she's gonna obviously say yeah." Like, oh god. Yeah, I don't get it. I mean, the the on this on this pay, podcast, the least sympathetic person is probably me. <laughs> So uh, I, I I think it's pathetic, but it is what it is. Uh, we have to talk about poor, poor, um, uh, what's her name uh, with the... the is Sam? Sam with the, I medi- the medical issue. Yeah, I, oh, God, I'm like... Drunk. Sam, I believe, right? I think it's Sam. It's not Jess. She's the guy with the... She's with Andrew S. Yeah, well, I wrote... I had written down Jess, and I realized it's definitely not Jess. So it's Sam, I believe. Um she just pooped in nine days. Yeah, nine. That, that's a long time. Nine times. Nine um, times. We got the emergency doctor. We got a lot of uh, interview time. Was it Dr. Kelly? He got a confessional, which I thought was really funny. It was really funny. He has delivered. He said at one point he knows of a 16-inch poop baby. Yeah, I'm. On, and I was thinking, I know this is like, like gross, but like, is it... Like, I get, like, a normal piece of poop is like this, but, like, was it, like, huge, too? Like, if it's just long... There's got to be some compactness to that, too. Like, like some like thickness? To be able to pass. Um, do you think she's going to poop? I kind of do. I do, too. I, I think if this is all, fight. like... A, I like... I, I mean, it's level. funny. I love how, like, even on the preview, they're, like, showing... They're, like, showing a toilet. You know what I mean? The clock. <laughs> <laughs> no, the timer is awesome. I, I love... Is I great. love that. I love the timer in the corner. So, um... I give I give what's his name props. Um, Andrew S. Is it Andrew S? Andrew, it's Andrew, not Andrew S. Andrew S. Is, is like the half. It's a black guy from. No, me. I know, but I think he actually is. Is is Andrew S. He is, is he another, really? Oh, well, I'm pretty well, sure he's another Andrew S. Oh, uh, Andrew got in a fight last week, and so this week uh, he's decided to back off a little bit. What real quick? Because I was along with you and Brett. What were your thoughts on the, the guy, the dude dancing behind him, and that the the fake tough guy fight last i think he was drunk i, I was it dumb yeah but I, he he definitely but my, way too serious. i think i had more of an issue with sam keeping it uh, keep addressing it like hey turn around turn around like he's trying to have a serious conversation and she just keeps bringing it up so i think that's kind of what she was annoyed at her too and it just, he just took and directed it all <laughs> to pete <laughs> dancing behind him like yeah um okay so the girls try to okay so here we go yeah uh, cat comes back. She dumps Brayden just quick, like super quick. She tells all the girls that she woke up not feeling Brayden. She didn't bother to tell Brayden that the entire day while she was hanging out with him before her date. Um, and then she just starts getting super defensive. We saw this last week. She starts with these. I can't even write the reasons down. They make no sense. She yeah, no, like, she sounds like she sounds like an idiot. No, I, I just don't get it. And, and if, if everyone else understands except for you, it's like, no, everyone else thinks you're kind of being a jerk. And listen. For Kylie and them to literally pull her aside, Kylie, who literally has already dumped somebody, is like, look, like, he's not talking crap on you, but it just feels like you ghosted him hard, and he's sad, and, like, or he's our friend, and we notice him sad, and she's like, well, what? Like, he's just going to have to get over it. It's like, I'm sure he will, but, like, 
people don't have to like you. Like they're allowed to not like you for this. And it just seems like she pulls him aside and I'm glad he didn't back down. He's like, yeah, like you just legit dropped me in half a second. And like, I just not saying we were getting married or anything, but it, it feels crappy. And she's like, well, this is how it is. And that's how you shouldn't feel. And he's like, well, I'm glad you feel that way, but I still feel crappy. So I'm going to sit here and feel crappy. Sorry if that bothers you. Like, right. I hate that people that happens in relationships or real life and things all the time. Like someone will dump someone or like hurt someone. And then they're mad that the person they hurt is upset. It's yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, they're that's not going to mourn and be sad on your schedule. Like, sorry, especially yeah. when I'm the good, obviously probably going to go home now. Like, yeah, that sucks. I mean, we'll see if he saved. Um, it's not Andrew S. It's Aaron S. Aaron. Sorry, I know. As we were saying it, I'm like, that doesn't yeah, I know. I was, I was wrong, but I mean, there's, there's just always like Andrew S's. There's because there's Aaron B, Aaron S, Andrew S. All these like. I still will go. I hate when they actually say the initial out loud. It's unnecessary. We know who you're talking about. Yeah, it's only for confessional Aaron. purposes only. Um, yeah, the girls try to give her heads up. Kylie and Jess very defensive. Braden tells Cat, "You use me for a rose." It's the truth. Yeah. Um, the Tyler Mercedes date was funny. Their symbols of love were shooting stars. And if a raccoon showed up, that would be really uh, romantic, apparently. Yeah, I was like thinking, like, should I look up like what a dream if you see a raccoon in a dream, what that means? <laughs> but I don't think it means anything. Um, yeah, I where did we end? I just like the last major note. The last other thing I have was, um, I thought it was the cat Braden. Oh, it's the poop. It's the poop thing. Like the, that's the final. Sundown or sunrise. Yeah. Uh, uh, What's his name? Aaron trying to give her like Mexican food and like do lunges and stuff was funny. I I, 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 I actually like them together. He's he's, we didn't see a lot of him until the um, mental law, but he's an interesting dude. He's, he's cool with me. No, I mean, I don't have any issues with anybody so far outside of. Right. He was making funny jokes. Like, do you think it's going to be a boy or girl? Like any, like, you know, some guys are like girls don't poop. Like, I thought he handled it pretty well to make her like. Comfortable. Not totally yet. Uncomfortable yet. No, it made her comfortable. Made her like want to like. It'll do well for him as long as she doesn't have to go. I like her too. She's attractive. She seems like she's got a good personality yeah, and, and going through this type of thing on TV is like a tough thing to do. Yeah. And that's why you haven't seen her. Like, she's never really in scenes because he's always on toilet dude that was so classic and it's like one of those things you definitely won't notice as you were watching the first run through you're like oh she's just not there like yeah. at all and all of a sudden yeah. they're like flashing to her like sitting in the toilet I'm like, yeah oh. hopefully it comes out we're praying also, for you like yeah like i have a hard time believing that like you can't take laxatives enough to like go i yeah she should be like i, I like chugging coffee laxatives prunes also next fiber. time you're in a rose ceremony you gotta go just go just poop yeah, just run. Yeah, go. she waited, but she had never gotten a rose before. So I know. Like, I would have loved if she just like went up. She's like, "Time out! Time out! Time out! Time out!" I would. Maybe she just pooped herself. And Jesse's just like, "Time." <laughs> oh, um, looking forward to next week. Obviously, um, if you are subscribed, make sure you check out our cover of the Golden Bachelor as well. We cover everything and anything. Uh, Bachelor Nation, reality TV. Uh, things like CBS Wednesdays. We have Buddy Games, Amazing Race, and Survivor. Uh, we cover Bravo shows. Right now, we're covering Southern Charm, but uh, Winter House coming up hot very soon. Is that next week or the week after? Uh, we have F Boy Island season three going to premiere on the CW on Monday. Um, TikTok as well, different reviews, things like The Challenge, uh, Big Brother, Reality TV News, some things for like Below Deck, everything like that. Um, But if you're subscribed here on TikTok, you won't miss a damn thing that we do. But until next time, for myself and Brian, thank you. Peace.